Happening today, the Steel Valley Cluster continues at the Campfield Fair. Dog owners are bringing their furry friends to compete in the nationwide event. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live in Campfield to tell us more. Hannah, good morning. Yes, good morning, Brooke. Here at the Campfield Fairground, it is the Steel Valley Cluster, like you said, a nationwide dog competition. I'm here with Phil. He's going to tell us exactly what we can expect today. You can expect to see probably way over 100 different breeds. I forget what it is now, 130, 140 different breeds here. Uh, it's a competition where you start off with all the dogs and you keep eliminating and eliminating and eliminating till you're down to one dog. It's a great specta spectator sport. Uh, it's nice. Come out and see us. We would love to have you here. Come. Now, are there, you allowed to bring dogs that aren't necessarily competing if you want to just bring them? No, you can't. <laughs> so, you know, you have the dogs competing here. How do you maybe keep them cool? Because it is going to be a pretty hot day today. Most of the dogs are air conditioned inside the motorhomes. Uh, if they're not, the people that come in vans and that, they have fans that are battery operated. Uh, we, they have cool down cloths uh, that they soak in uh, real cold water and lay over their back. But you won't see any dogs in distress, no matter how hot it, hot it gets. Uh, all those motorhomes over there have sections for the dogs, and they're air conditioned. They're definitely spoiled, it sounds oh, like. They are, they're spoiled. They get them out, they show them, and they go back in. They don't sit out in the sun. Uh, a lot of people have a b bad uh, conception of a dog show. The dogs are pampered, or else they would not show. If they were mistreated, they wouldn't show. Perfect. Well, it's going to be a really fun day today. Make sure you come check out all these dogs competing. Everything starts at 8 this morning, so make sure you come check it out. For now, live in Canfield, Hannah Erdman, First News, Saturday morning.